Let's get more analysis with Icon Erdemir. He's a senior fellow at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies. Icon, welcome to our program. So a year after the U.S. moved its embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, does it appear peace in the region perhaps is less attainable and more elusive? I think the, me the mood in the Middle East right now is waiting to see uh, the, the so-called Middle East peace plan, uh, which will soon uh, be basically presented uh, to the public uh, by um, President Trump's son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner. So I think there's still a lot of guesswork at this point, what right. that plan will entail. But the actual step of moving the embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem, has that made the region perhaps less safe, more volatile, and does peace seem more elusive based on that one particular step? I think uh, moving the capital, uh, U.S. recognition of that, as well as the annexation of the Golan Heights uh, are looming over the Middle East peace plan. You know, recently in D.C. there was an event where Jared Kushner made an initial uh, presentation about the peace plan without going into any of the details. And the debate during that event also revolved around these issues, as well as whether political asp aspirations of Palestinians will be met in the peace plan. So based on that debate in Washington, what I can tell you is uh, there are a lot of analysts uh, who see these big decisions uh, to be highly relevant uh, to both the success of a potential peace plan, which we all know is very challenging, as well as beyond that to the, the stability and intra-regional relations in the Middle East. Okay, let's get to Jared Kushner and this new plan they have for the region in just a second. But let me just talk about, Jeff, our colleague mentioned some of them in Beijing, um, the, some of the steps that Trump administration has taken. The embassy move, the status of Jerusalem, cutting aid to Palestinians, shutting down Palestinian offices in Washington, the whole issue with Golan Heights, and the latest, the State Department denying Hanan Ashrawi, a Palestinian legislator, visa to come to the United States, one thing after another. Having said that, do Palestinians see this administration as a viable partner? I think already there have been a, a number of statements on the Palestinian side stating that they do not necessarily see Washington uh, as a, a potential middleman in, in this relationship. And, and at the same time, you also have to realize that Washington also counts on some of the Middle Eastern actors, you know, including you know, Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Egypt to also play a role, you know, sometimes push, sometimes pull in this relationship. And we can also see that uh, some of these decisions and steps are also, let's say, a, a constraining factor, sometimes a limiting factor on the role these other Middle Eastern powers can play. So I think the best way to characterize what's happening at this point is a very complicated, multi-dimensional chess game. And uh, to be frank, uh, I think it would, it would take someone to be really an optimist to assume that everything can go in order in this multi-dimensional okay. chess game. And finally, let's get to Jared Kushner. What are the expectations? Even he's acknowledged that there are, it's a long shot whether this is going to work or not, whatever this proposal is. Again, it's, it's, it's really a big unknown, uh, and you know, anyone who makes bets uh, in the Middle East uh, would bet against a, kind of a, a permanent resolution to some of these really key, uh, uh, let's say, disagreements in the Middle East. And of course, we have to take into consideration, whenever we're discussing Middle East, another major actor, and that is Russia. And as we speak today, there is a, a Lavrov, Pompeo meeting going on. Uh, so, you know, on paper, everything might look okay, but without taking into consideration the potential spoiler role Moscow can play, I think one shouldn't really make any predictions concerning right. the Middle East. Yeah, I don't know, Icon. I don't even think things look okay on paper. Icon Erdemir, thank you so much for your for having me. analysis.